Hey folks, this is Smoking Barbecue Bob, um, and uh, today we have got uh, kind of a gloomy day out here in Southern California, but nonetheless we are going to be uh, smoking a brisket. It's probably about only 60, 65 degrees right now, so um, right now it's not too hot, which it usually is at this time of year. And uh, on the page, there's been a lot of uh, talk lately about um, Weber Smoky Mountains versus uh, different um, other smokers, propane, electric, set it and forget it experience. And, you know, I always mention that the Weber Smoky Mountain, or what we refer to as the WSM, um, is your best uh, traditional um, smoking experience uh, with very virtually a close um set it and forget it so once you you know every smoker you need to, to prepare it in order to uh to get it going so you know some of the electric smokers you just dial on a temperature and you turn it on and then you have to sit there and wait it's kind of the same way here with this charcoal smoker you just have to dial in your 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 dampers which is not electronic so today what i'm going to do is i'm going to try and uh, do this little video to share with you um what it is that i do in order to so you what i do to get it that experience so you may do the same thing um, should you get a Weber Smoky Mountain in the future or if you already own one. So I use the Minion method. I use charcoal and I also use Royal Oak. Um, I've got uh, they had that great sale this year so the Kingsford original uh, they got the competition briskets um, that burn a little bit hotter. I don't really see much of a difference. Uh, Royal Oak burns hotter you don't need much of it so down here at the bottom I've got uh, I've got my Kingsford Blue, uh, about 20 brickets there at the bottom, and then as you can see in my in my, uh, I got actually got to get myself a new chimney, but um, the uh, I used part of the bag from uh, an old bag that I had, and down in here I've got about a quarter bag of brickets left in here, is which I'll use for the remainder of my smoke and my brisket today. Um, and then inside the chimney, which I'm getting ready to light, is my Royal Oak. And this is my preferred method. I can you can use um, all ro all lump coal. You can use all charcoal. I like to use a combination, and uh, that's just the way I do it. That's my preference. So uh, I'll be right back. I'm gonna get start. I'm gonna get this thing lit up, and uh, and then we'll get on to the second part of this. All right, so. As you can see, I took my quarter bag that I just showed you of uh, my Kingsford Blue. And what I did is I put this in around my chimney and around those that base of 20 briskets that I have it on top of. And I've got my charcoal kind of angled up so it's all around so to get a nice even heat throughout my smoke today. And I won't have to, I'll be able to get through my entire smoke uh without having to add more coals uh, which is very fuel efficient and uh, it's going to cost it's going to save you a lot of money um, down the road a lot of smokers you got to continue to eat eat fuel all day and add fuel all day uh, and uh, you know over the life of your smoker that means that your overall cost goes up so um, anyway so that's what it looks like here and uh, i'm going to get this thing fired up and started all right, so we got the uh, we got the paper from the uh, old bag that I had uh, started to catch this lump on fire, and uh, we'll be back here in a minute, and uh, we'll take this chimney off. We'll get some uh, some pecan wood wood chunks that we're going to use. We're going to spread that over the space. All right, now we've got our fire kind of going here. You can see, you can hear the crackling in that Royal Oak lump. Now, if you're not using lump um, like I am, you can uh, obviously use straight charcoal. And what you're looking for is the ashiness that you see there on the corners. Once you start to get that ashiness on your corners here inside your chimney, uh, you can uh, you can then uh, you know, I would say uh, about a quarter of the way, uh, then you can pour your uh, hot coals in or lift this sucker up. I'm going to do that right now. Uh, we're, we're, we're good to go. 
on this lump. So I'm just going to put it all right here in the middle. All right, now we got a fire, but that's going to die down here in a second when I put this uh, when I put the body of the WSM back on. Because right now what we're going to do is we're going to add our wood chunks. All right, so now I've added my pecan wood chunks, and as you can kind of see here, I've got some bigger ones here right in the middle, and that's what's going to smoke first. And as this fire burns from the center on out on a slow pace, um, it's going to then uh, get to these other smaller ones out here on the edge. This way I don't have to sit here and attend to it every single hour. Um, I, can, I can actually go out in the yard and get some stuff done today. Um, there's been times I've gone to a party uh birthday party for the kids you know four or five hours at a time and i've come back my 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 temperature is still sitting at 225 i'm still smoking fairly good now you know wood wood can be all different um you know that's a little bit of a stretch you know you may want to add more wood as long as you go um, but i'm telling you right now this thing uh is about as close as you can get to a set it and forget it unit without being electric or gas so um this is where we're at uh, I just hope this is helpful to you guys. Um, it's a lot easier, I guess, to see it on film than it is to, uh, to uh, you know, read it. So hopefully this is a good example for those that own one or just getting one or have been doing it different and uh, you want more of this experience. So, uh, you know what, let me do this. Let me actually dial in my temperature for you at the same time and, uh, and I'll tell you how we bring this up to 225 to 230. Uh, so we can keep it at that temperature. All right, I'll be right back. Let me get this, uh, let me get the body on here. All right, so I got the body back on. And uh, my dampers currently right now are completely open. There's three dampers all the way around the outside edge. There's one on the other side over there. And then I got the top damper right here, fully open. You can see the smoke coming through it. Now what I'm gonna do is I literally just put this on. So the temperature right now, is isn't even registered yet because the heat hasn't gone all the way up to the top. So we're going to wait here for uh, a few minutes and uh, we're going to wait for that temperature to start to, to start to move. And then when it does, I'm going to start to adjust my dampers on the bottom. So we're registering right now. It's been a few minutes. We're registering about 212. So when I get up to my, uh, my temperature and I start to see it run uh, a little bit higher than 225, what I'm going to start doing is dialing back. Uh, one of my lower uh, dampers. We'll be back here in a minute. All right, so uh, we're at 226. So we need to start dialing uh, my dampers back here. So I'm just going to show you. I'm going to leave this one about a quarter. And then I'm going to turn this. I'm going to come back here, I think, and dial this one back about a quarter. And then this one I'll roll back about a half. Now while we were doing that, drilling those dampers back, uh, we went up to 228. So now what we're gonna do is we're starting to cut off some of the airflow that's going on inside there. Yet we're pouring out smoke. So we've got a nice airflow that's moving through. And uh, we're gonna start being able to control that temperature and uh, let's just uh, check back in here in uh, a couple more seconds here. All right, so it's been about five minutes. We're sitting at uh, 223 right now. And uh, so what I can do is I can adjust my temperature. I'm good with 223. It'll probably, it'll probably fluctuate 223, 225, 226 right now. So right in this area, it'll 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 sit right here in this area between like 225 and 230. Uh, it'll even itself out. This is still a fresh fire. So what you'll you'll be able to do is uh, you'll be able to monitor that in your first you know half hour hour, and uh, and just ad adjust your dampers. Once once your fire is good and set on the inside, your heat on the inside, uh, you're going to maintain uh, that temp. You can see the the smoke that we got pouring out here. It's good stuff. A little burp here. The temperature is going to drop a little when I do this, but just wanted to show you the kind of smoke that we got rolling. And we got great temperatures. Uh, perfect for smoking. 
low and slow all day and that's what you do with the Weber Smoky Mountain now the other thing is you saw the uh, you got yourself uh, this is the ET 733 that's the uh, one piece of it that's the remote transmitter the other part I still haven't set it's in the house uh, it's a Maverick ET 733 you can get that at uh, barbecuegoods.com which is our group store um, you can get the Weber Smoky Mountains in the uh, 14 inch got the 22 inch right here and then the 18 inch is the one that's in between obviously that's not it that's my uh, my fun cabinet smoker file cabinet smoker which uh, I don't recommend uh, unless you want to really attend to fire right there because it burns fuel like crazy uh, but it is fun uh, nonetheless um, Weber Smoky Mountains as well as all your propane all propane gas electric uh, stick burners, you got it. Um, all your accessories, all that sort of stuff. Anything that you guys need for smoking, uh, we have it at the group store. Um, so go take a visit over there at barbecuegoods.com. Many items are got free shipping. Uh, a lot of the same situation. Uh, this is an Amazon store, so uh, it supports the group. We do appreciate it. And uh, if you find value please use it please refer it and uh and uh, whatnot so um guys have a great saturday um that's how we take care of a weber smoky mountain and make it into a set it and forget it experience thank you guys see ya